Hello and welcome back guys. To take a break from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151, I decided to open up some random stuff I got off the Pokemon Center. I got some boxes and I got some tins. Let's see what we get inside. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Now I got two of each tin. So you see right here is a fire one, which has Charizard, Victini, Brakeson, and Score Bunny. I just got two of these just to see what it's about. Pokemon Center had them up. I've never opened these before. So let's just see. Let me know if you've ever opened these up before and if you've had good luck with them. Alright, let's get into it. And there they are. And you get a coin in there too. Let's see the coin first before we see the packs. Oh, it's a score bunny. It's plastic too. Not the greatest quality, but someone might like it. So we get a chilling rain and two lost origins. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so let's see chilling rain. Let's just get straight into it. Got that Galarian Zap built on it. Now I've never even opened a chilling rain pack before. So this would be nice. I would imagine the uh, the card pack, the card trick for the card pack is the same as the. Uh, Every other sword and shield, four from the back. Now I don't even know what the card, uh, the code card is, if it's good or not. Let's see, four from the back. Sword and shield has uh, has some interesting cards. Let's have a look, see if we get any of the cool ones. This Porygon 2 Kakuna, that's a lovely looking Kakuna. Now, I've never opened these before, so I will be seeing a lot of these cards for the first time, especially if we get some big pulls. Let's see. Inky, Ampharos, and our rare is a Weezing. Alright, Lost Origin Pack 1. Let's get straight into it. There are some lovely cards in Lost Origin. Lovely, lovely cards. Alright, I think that's a good code card. I don't really remember now at this point, to be honest. Let's see the pack trick. There's four. Alright, Fighting. Aswana, Hariyama, Nuzleaf, Ducklet, Porygon, Barnacle, Shellos, Marwile, the reverse is a Politoed, and then we have, ooh, and now, I think I already have this card, but it's a nice looking card, that is, Hisuvian Zoroark, nice, one hit out of two so far, I'm happy with that, alright, and the last pack of this tin, we've got that lovely shiny Gardevoir, Let's see if we can get it. Now, I only got into Pokemon really. Well, I say I only just got into it now, but really I got into it in the beginning. Stopped for a while, I think during the Diamond and Pearl era. And only picked it up again with Obsidian Flames. So a lot of these packs are new to me. But Lost Origin was definitely the first, uh, the first set that I got back into. So it's nice opening these again. Electric Bronzor, Sudowoodoo, Dustox, and oh, another one. Wow, that is a lovely looking Drapion. That's two hits out of three. These tins seem to be good value. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I think they were about $19.99. Not great value if that was the case, but I'll have to double check for you. All right, we have the other fire one right here. I've already pre cut it a little bit, so it's easy for me to get into. The same thing again Score Bunny, Charizard, Victini, and Brakeson. I'd imagine it's probably the same three packs in here. Let's check that the coin. There's the coin. It's the score bunny again. Alright, and the packs. Chilling Rain and then two Lost Origin. So again, I've never really opened Chilling Rain. That pack I opened in the last one was my first one. So I have no idea what any of the arts look like. No idea at all. So you'll be hearing my first reaction to them all. If I get something good, that is. There you are. Pull from the back. Alright. Leaf. Echoing horn. Oh my god. The scroll of piercing. Avery. Delibird. La Vesta. Mareep. Heracross. Club Octopus. I love this card. I've never even used this card in a mainline game. But it looks awesome. 
Oh, we've got the scroll of piercing reverse and oh, another V. A Volcanian V. Lovely looking card. Let's just get straight into the next pack. Alright, so Lost Origin pack. <gasps> so Lost Origin pack number one of this tin. I really do want the Giratina from this set. It is such a beautiful looking card. And with the way that these tins are going, looks like I might get it. Well, not with that code card, that's for sure. Let's see if we do get anything. That's four from the back. All right, Psychic. The Misfortune Sisters. Mian Xiao. Lake Acuity. Inky. Paras. Spinarek. Finion. Bilbuck. Bil oh, that's the Trainer Gallery Arcanine right there. It's a lovely looking card. And the rare is a Mimikyu. Oh, it's an adorable looking Mimikyu right there. All right, not bad so far. A lot of these have... Um, a lot of these packs from these tins have actually been hits every single one only one hasn't had a hit so far and at 12.99 that's really not bad at all the last pack for the tin this one's uh seen better days but the cars themselves seem all right dig into it see if we get anything good got the black border this time around Steel, Relicant, Lost Vacuum, Gastrodon, Paras, Binarek, Finion. This is like the exact same pack as the last one. It really is. Inky. Oh, a Radiant Steelix. Oh, and a Giratina V. Wow, that is a beautiful card. Look at that. That is wonderful. That and the Radiant Steelix, great hits. These tins seem like they're really good value. We've got hits in almost every single pack. All right, so let's just get into the next one. So we have the fighting one right here. Cubone, Lycanroc, Farfetch, or is that the Surfetched? No, that's Farfetch for sure. And then Mian Xiao. Let's see. Yeah, they don't make these easy to open, do they? All right, here's the fighting one. I don't know if the packs in here are different. I'd imagine the coin would be. I don't even know what Pokemon that is. I can't make out what I'm looking at. <laughs> Let me know in the comment if you know what I'm looking at right there. Oh, that might be Zororora. Zororora? Let's just get into it. Alright, the packs. Chilling Rain, a Lost Origin, and another Lost Origin. But it seems like they're all the same. One Chilling Rain, two Lost Origin. Now, I really enjoy Lost Origin as a set, so I don't mind that at all. Chilling Rain, don't really know anything in there. So, let's see if it, if it becomes one of my favorites. The hit rates so far have been really, really nice. Really nice so far. So let's see. Four from the back. Lightning. Caitlyn. Kakuna. Now I love this Kakuna card. It's really cool looking. Path to the Peak. Venipede. Bon Sweet. Lapras. Blitzel. What is he doing on the water there? He's in a precarious situation right there. Aaron. Ampharos Reverse. And a Gallade as the rare. Alright, Lost Origin pack number one. Chilling Rain hasn't really come through with much. Some cool cards, but nothing, uh, nothing exciting. Nothing like, ooh, that's amazing. Let's see if it changes. Let's get four from the back. All right, Lightning, Gastrodon, Haunter, my favorite Pokemon. Poliwell, looking awesome. Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Gumi. A Meditite looking interesting, a Squobert looking adorable, the reverse is a Mr. Mime, that is so creepy, I don't like that at all, and the rare is a Malamar, it's cool artwork on there too. Alright, the last of Lost Origin, this thing hasn't been too great so far, but what can you expect, what can you expect? But these seem reasonably priced, so I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too mad about the price. $12.99 for a box, you get three packs. And the tin itself, if you want to store it. 
Not too bad. All right, water, lost city. Tawana, Licky Licky, Ghastly, Ducklet, Zoroa, Binacle, Gumi, the reverse is Hariyama, and ooh, the Perserker V. That's a cool looking card, that is. Alright, on to the next fighting tin. Again, Farfetch, Mien Shell, Cubone, Lycanroc. Let's just get into it. Let's have a look at what's inside. It's going to be the same. They don't seem to differ at all. The coins at the bottom this time, so let's get the pack out. There's the coin. Again, it's the same Pokemon. I think it's a Zorora. I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest, I've only seen it on a card. So correct me if I'm wrong. So the packs. We've got Lost Origin again, Lost Origin and Chilling Rain. The same lineup. Now I do have two more of these tins. I hope that the packs change. Well, maybe. Depends if we get anything good. Four from the back. Alright, Lightning. Layer on. Fire resistant gloves if you want to cook, I guess. Welcome in Lenten. La Vesta, that's a cool looking artwork. Sobble. Ladybug. Squobet. I don't know what he's running from. Crabrawler. The reverse is a Ladybug. And, ooh, we get a Blissey V. That's a nice looking card. We could do better though, definitely. Alright, Lost Origin pack number one of this tin. Well, that pack opened really easily. It's always the packs that open easily that don't seem to contain anything. That's four from the back. Let's see. Fighting. Poliwell. Luminion. Wind Up Arm. Shellos. Kasuin. Growlithe. Ducklet. Rockruff. Seal. The reverse is a Barbarical. Barbarical. I don't know how to pronounce it. Help me out in the comments. And the rare is a Porygon Z. Alright, so the last Lost Origin pack. I do really like Lost Origin, but we're not getting anything big out of these. The code card, four from the back. Let's see. Fire. Riley. Another leaf. Wind up arm. Love disc. Gliger. Wormpool. Rhyhorn, Murkrow. Oh, we get a Radiant Sneasler. It's a cool looking card. I don't even think I've seen this Pokemon before. But we got the Radiant version. And then the rare is a Stone Journal. Alright, so that's uh, the Fire and Fighting tins done. We have two more. We've got this one, the Dark, and another Dark one. There's Umbreon. Is that Mega Garbodor or VMAX Garbodor? I'm not actually sure. You'd have to let me know. There's Aurora. And uh, what's his face? Is his name Obstagoon? I think it's Obstagoon. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I never noticed that actually, but it's got a nice dark print on the top. Let's get the packs out. Let's have a look at the coin in there. Oh, it's the same one as the. It's the same one as the fighting type. I want a refund. Okay, let's get into it. Lost Origin. Lost Origin. And Chilling Rain. Unfortunately, same packs are over and over again. I expected it to be different packs, but that's my fault for assuming. You know the saying. Let's see. I think it's the bad code card. I'm not entirely sure. Four from the back. Steel, Fluffy, Path to the Peak, Ledian, Weedle, look at him chilling on, what, is that a Heracross in the corner? Oh no, he's on the floor, I see, alright, that Heracross is looking for some food, Cast Form, <laughs> that is an adorable looking card, Quillfish, Rolts, I love the art on that actually, Heracross, that's him after he eats the with the Weedle from the last one. Aaron Reverse and Gallade Rare. Alright, Lost Origin pack number one. I really want that Giratina, the big hit in this card. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I deserve a lot. Let's 
All right, code card. There we go. Four from the back. Dark. Bronzong. Cole Reese. Cole Reese's experiment. Oregon 2, Snova, Zorua, Seal, Rock Ruff, Ducklet. Man, I hate this Ducklet card. I'm going to release a short showing you exactly why. Stay tuned and find out. Oh, we get a trainer gallery, Bennett. Such an underrated Pokemon. Looks so cool. The zip on his mouth. The eyes looking all crazy. That's so cool. And the rare. Oh, a Sableye. Look at that. Two ghost Pokemon. All right. Last Lost Origin pack, the last pack was nice. I always like seeing the uh, the art galleries, the trainer galleries, the Galarian galleries, whatever they're called. I always like that. White code card this time. Four from the back. Let's see, Lightning. Ride on. Kamala. Roserade. Licky Tongue. Clefairy. Whoa, what is going on over here? They're having a party. Wormpool. Murkrow. Barnacle. Reverse damage pump. That looks very, very conspicuous. And the rare is a Parasect. Okay, and now we have the last pack. It's the same as always. Let's see if the coin's any different, actually. Nope, they couldn't be bothered to change it. I still want that refund. As you can expect, yep, Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Chilling Rain. So let's just get straight into them. Again, I haven't had a hit from Chilling Rain, I don't think, apart from that Volcanion V, I think it was. So it's not impressing me so far, this set. Don't really have much to go off of, but I'd hope for better. I'd hope for better. That's four. Water. Echoing Horn. Roller Piercing, Avery, Score Bunny, Aaron, Snorunt, Venipede, Snova, Rock Ruff Reverse. That is cool. Look at him playing in the snow. And then the wheezing that we got earlier. I'm already getting dukes from this. Alright, Lost Origin. These packs seem to be a lot better in terms of hits, but we are getting double, double the amount of packs for uh, Lost Origin compared to Chillin' Rain. See Black Boulder. Hopefully we get something good. It's four from the back. Fighting. Abomina Snow. Ride on. Kamala. Barnacle. Shellos. Mawile. Horsey. Murkrow. Oh, we get a Gallade V. Trainer Gallery. Look at that. That's cool. And then a rare or beetle. Alright, pack three of Lost Origin. And then we're going to move on to those boxes. I don't really know what's in those boxes, but find out with me. There's the code card. Four from the back. Tell me what you guys prefer. Do you prefer the four from the back or the hollow potentially being a rare? Tell me how you prefer your pack tricks to be. Let's see. Seal. Rock Ruff. Roselia. Litwick. Spinarak. Dustox. And... Macargo. So that was a dud and that's all the tins done. So let's move on to the boxes that we have. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, let's show the hits. That was from the first one. That was the Drapion V-Star and the Zoroark V-Star. So we got the Volcanion V, the Hisuian Arcanine Trainer Gallery, the Radiant Steelix, the Giratina V. Now this was my favorite of all the cards that we got so far. We only got one from one of them, and it was this Berserker. Cool looking card, but that was the only hit. Then we got this Radiant Sneasler. The Blissey V. The Burnett Trainer Gallery. I really like this card, actually. And the Gallade Trainer Art Gallery. Again, so many of these are so cool, but they're so slept on. I don't hear anyone talking about them. Okay, so... We have this Dragonite V blister box. I don't know why I picked it up, but Dragonite's pretty cool. So let's see what's inside. There we go. Cool looking card. There's the promo card on a regular size. Code card. But as you can see, 
Do you get an evolving skies with this? That must have been why I picked it up. I kind of forgot why I bought this, but let's see. We've got chilling rain, vivid voltage, evolving skies, and rebel clash. That's pretty cool. And then let's start with rebel clash. This is another set I've never opened, but I don't know. I don't even know the name of the Pokemon. I have no idea. All right, code card. I don't know the pack trick for Rebel Clash, but because it's Sword and Shield, I would imagine it's just four from the back. Looks like I'm right. So let's see, Psychic, Luxio, that's a cool looking artwork. Durant, Palisand, Magic Card with a Pikachu at the back, that's cool. I like that artwork. Meditite, Chilling in the Woods. Military, one of the worst Pokemon in the world. Growlithe, Impidimp, I, I, I can't even really make out what's going on in this photo. Just chilling on a branch, I guess. Position reverse. And, ooh, a Ninetales V. That is lovely. We have Vivid Voltage here. I don't really know much about this set, but I think this is the one with the Chunkosaurus Pikachurus Rex. Or whatever you call it. I have no idea. Well, let's see if we get it. Again. I haven't opened this set before, so I would imagine it's just four from the back. That seems to be Sword and Shield uh, era stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if I messed up. Okay. I don't think I messed up. Let's see. Stone energy. Since when is it called stone? Kakuna. Woobat. Halo. Charmander. I like how that's drawn. That's adorable. Whoop, look at that. That is adorable. That This has to be my favorite card from the set. Whoop is just taking a bath with a rainbow in the back. What's not to love about that? Oh. A Galarian Meowth. The reverse is a Metagross. That looks like those big Star Wars guys. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those big Star Wars metal clunky things. Looks cooler nonetheless. And... A Deancey. I... I don't know what this Pokemon is. It looks cool. Let me know if you guys have ever used them. Oh, it's a hollow bleed as well. Or is that just how the hollows are? You see how the hollow comes through? Now, I haven't opened Vivid Voltage, so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. But that was really cool. Then we got Chilling Rain. Tell me what you guys think about the Galarian birds. The Moltres, the Articuno, the Zapdos, some of them look cool, but it's just weird for me as someone who started off really in Pokemon with base set, seeing them like this. I think the Zapdos looks a bit silly, but the other two are cool. Let's see if we get them in the pack. Again, Chilling Rain, I've only really opened during this pack opening. So I don't know what's I don't know what to look forward to in this set. I'd imagine the legendary birds are in here. But let's see if we get them. Alright, Psychic, Clara, Haunter, Doctor, Porygon, Heracross, Sobble, Inky, Squobet, the reverse is a Sneasel, interesting, he's water type, and a Scolipede, Dud. Alright, and now time for the big pack of this, you know there's a lot of hits on here, this Umbreon on the pack itself looks really cool. Let's see if we get it in the pack. There's a lot of really nice cards in Evolving Skies. Obviously, the Moonbreon, whatever you want to call it. It's obviously the go-to for it. The big chase card. I wonder if we're going to get it. Psychic, Hippo Down, Golduck, Herdia, Dino, Dino, Teddy Earth. So that's an adorable looking card. Look at that. Just chilling. Phoebus, Hoppip, Hitmonchan, Wishy Washy, and an Old Terrier. All right, so that's a Dragonite V box done, and we have this Station V Union box. Uh, yeah, I think the reason why I bought that is for uh, Evolving Skies in there. But again, I haven't opened up any Chilling Rain or Vivid Voltage, so it's kind of cool to open. And I really like how these sets have the, or this box at least has the four different cards to make one big card. I think it looks cool in the binder. But let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a look at the jumbo card. There's a Zacian V. 
It actually looks really nice. That's a cool looking card. I always found him to look a bit dumb with a sword in his mouth. I mean, how can he use it well? Let's move the packs out of the way. We have the Professor Burnett. I don't really know why that's in there, but I guess it's for the TCG. We have the code card. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> never mind, that's not right. What's happened here then? This is a puzzle right now. There we go. There we go. So that's pretty cool. That's four separate cards. As you can see, there's the four union cards next to the jumbo card. Looks pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's just get into the packs. You already know what's up. It's the vivid voltage, the two chilling rains, and then the beautiful evolving skies at the end. Let's see. It's cool for me to open up these packs since I have not really opened many of these. Even evolving skies, I never really opened it. I only got back into Pokemon during Obsidian Flame, so I'm very, very new. Obviously, I did open up a lot of the uh, cards when I was younger, but I don't have any of those cards anymore. There's the code card. It's such a sad idea to think back on all those cool cards I had. Base set, jungle, faucet, fossil, base set 2, and I sold them all for dirt cheap. It is what it is. Sidekick, B, Giraffe Rig, Moo Moo Cheese. Tell me if you guys would eat that. Club Octopus, Electric, Execute, Eevee. That's cool. The Woobat, the Woobat Reverse, and ooh, and that's a crazy looking Electrode Hollow. Looks like he's really trying to push one out. All right, so we have Chilling Rain now with the Ice Rider on the pack. Yeah, never really opened these. Okay, we have Chilling Rain with the Ice Rider on top. Again, haven't really pulled much, don't know what to expect. But we haven't had anything so far from Chilling Rain. Let's see if we get something good out of it. There's the code. There's four from the back. Alright, got the sidekick. Karen's Conviction. Ooh, is that Kamiya? I think it's Kamiya. Steeny. Weeding Gloves. Cast form again, looking adorable. Ladybug. Golet, Club Octopus, Cast Form, Club Octopus in Reverse, and a Greedent Hollow. Just looking back at it, it looks like it might be a Hollow Bleed. Now, I don't know if this is how the Hollows are supposed to be in this set. Let me know in the comments, but as you can see there, the Hollow goes through the card. Alright, the next Chilling Rain pack. Haven't seen anything from this. Just Hollows. I think maybe a V card when I was opening up the tins. But nothing cool. That's four from the back. Four from the back. Let's see. Fire. Give me some fire. How about that? Swacky. Fog Crystal. Hatterum. Grookey. Weedle. There's the Heracross looking for some food. Farfetched. Galarian Farfetched. Interesting. Cast form. La Vesta. Welcome in Lantern, and oh, we did get it, a Galarian Moltres V. That's the first hit I've gotten from Chilling Rain, and that's really cool. It's a cool looking card. I like that a lot. Hey, and the last pack, Evolving Skies. I hope there's something big in here. Sword and Shield compared to Scarlet and Violet. Man, it's hard to pull anything good, and you know, the booster boxes are super expensive these days, so it's not really viable to run out and grab a booster box open it up and expect to see something good but let's see if this pack contains something good there's the code card four from the back leaf vigoroth that's a cool looking card treasure energy ribbon band or badge emolga slack off what is he doing what's happened over there oh no let's hope there's not a heracross down there too a Goss Fleur, a Gossy Fleur, I don't know how to say that. Love Disc, Fletchling, the reverse is a Hydreigon. That's interesting, and an Ulterior again. <laughs> All right, so these are really the only two hits we received from the uh, the boxes. The tins, however, we got a lot more. I don't know if that's just down to luck or how they saw out the packs or whatever, but these definitely weren't worth it. Even with the promo cards, not that interesting, not that cool. I'd rather get a bunch of those tins again. Let me know if I should get some more. Tell me in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna start a new little trend here on this channel. 
Since I haven't completed Obsidian Flames, I'm only missing 12 cards I believe, I've decided to open one pack at the end of every video to see if I can cross those cards off. Now I'll show that on the video right now, the cards that I'm missing. So hopefully we can just pack them in here. Hopefully I get to get some pulls. Alright, let's just get into it. Okay, I hope I don't mess up the pack trick. But Scarlet and Violet is just one from the back. So we've got the water. The Lechonk, the Fungus, the Nose Pass, Litwick, Crabominable, King Gambit, Wankaloin, Reverse 1, Stungfisk, Reverse 2, Heatmore, and a Scizor. Nothing. Hopefully, in the next video, we can cross some more off. Alright, guys, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get too much today, but that's not a problem since we're going to be opening a ton more packs on this channel. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, everything. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Bye.